Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakha, Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the only God and Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ by Hashem. Is in the name of Rakha Kodash, is the Holy Spirit. Shall to the 144,000 men that's laboring that's true for the sake of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Shall to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shall It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. The title of the video, Lord Willem, is going to be the uh, the Lord showed his power, you know, with the Israelite foreigners. All right, well, maybe uh, think about it, you know. Uh, there's this girl at my job, you know, I, when I first seen her, I was like, yeah, it's a, a fucking Edomite, you know, then start speaking, I was like, damn, this is a Jake, you know, and that's why you can't go, uh, can't go off the appearance, all right, you gotta, you, you gotta, uh, judge the spirit, uh, let me actually start there. This is uh, St. John 7 and verse 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. All right, so we can't judge according by how somebody looks. All right, you got to judge uh, off the spirit. You see? And that's very important, man, to judge uh, according to the spirit. Because you'll easily, you can easily look at somebody and be like, yeah, that's a heat of my, you know, but without speaking to them, all right, without uh, examining the matter, you, you can quickly assume that somebody is a heat of my, but they're really an Israelite, all right, and especially on the highways and byways, that can be an offense, you know, you call somebody a heat of my, but they're really an Israelite, okay, you know, so we got to be careful. That was a cut to me. I was like, damn, I'm thorough. I thought that was a, a Edomite. You know, I was just judging off the appearance. This is uh, St. John uh, chapter uh, 1 John 4 and 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are the most high. You know? And after just having a like, normal conversation, I was like, this 100%, man. This is a Jake. You know? You know, it says uh, whether they are the most high, it says because many false prophets are going out to the world, you know, and I ain't going to any scriptures or anything, you know, but, you know, but I was able to try the spirit, you know, without going into spiritual things, you know, just having basic conversation, you know, you know, and that, sh that truly shows the power, you know, of the Lord. And I'm going to grab this. This is uh, Psalms 50. Psalms 50 and 5. It says, Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a sac those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. All right. The saints are the Israelites. Okay. And from there, I'm going to grab a few. Uh, just off of each chapter. This is uh, Ephesians 1 and 1. It says, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach by the will of the Most High to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. You see, to the saints. So Paul, he was writing his letter in Ephesus, all right, to the saints, to the Israelites. You see? I'm going to grab this one, too. This is Paul. It's 1 Corinthians 1 and 1. Paul called to be an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach through the will of the Most High. And so Thenus, our brother, unto the church of the Most High, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, called to be saints with all that in every place, call upon the name of the, of, call upon, it says, with all that is 
that it says with all that in every place call upon the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach our Lord, both theirs and ours. You see, grace be unto you and peace from our Father and from the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And let me go to Philippians. Philippians 1 and 1 says, Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to all the saints in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace be unto you and peace from the Most High, our Father, and from the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You see? So you see where I'm going with this. All right? Paul is writing to the saints in these different churches, man. All right? And the saints are the Israelites. All right? Those that have made a covenant with the Most High by sacrifice, man. Okay? And I believe it's a nut. Yeah, Colossians as well. This is a... Uh, Colossians 1 and 1, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Mashiach by the will of the Mosiah and Timotheus, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in the Mashiach, which are at Coloss, grace be unto you and peace from our Father and the Lord Yahweh Mashiach. You see, point has been made. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was another scripture uh, defending who are the saints. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is Psalms 148 and verse 14. It says, He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye, Yahweh Shemel Shah. See, so the Lord, he really, he really showed his power, you know, uh, because he even got uh, people that may have dark skin that are really Edomites, and you have people that are light-skinned that may appear white, but they're really Israelites, man. So you really have to judge off the spirit, man. Okay? This is, uh... This is Matthew 13, and starting at 24, it says, in, an er in another parable... Put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. You know, and that's what Esau Edom did. You know, he has uh man during during the times of uh of when slavery first kicked off, man, when we were sold on auction blocks, all that. Okay. Esau, he was getting down on our women, man. So there's there's more terrors than we believe out here, man. All right. So Esau, you know, he has uh, put his seed, you know, uh, into our women. You know, so that's why you have terrors among the wheat, the wheat being the Israelites. Okay. It says, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the terrors also. It says, so the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, that is not thou so good seed in thy field from whence then hath it tares? And he said unto them, An enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together into the harvest, and in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn, man. All right. And that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to separate the wheat from the tares, man. Okay. And James 1 and 1, it says, James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, 
greeting, you see, so the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. All right, we've been scattered amongst all nations, man. Okay. And if it be of the Lord's will, I'm going to close with this. Revelation 7 and verse 9, when you read the, uh, when you read up, this is speaking of the uh, 12,000 from each tribe. And then when you got, go to verse 9, this is that innumerable multitude that we speak about when we uh, intro our videos, man. And Revelation 7 and 9 says, After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in her hands. You see, so the Lord, he's going to, he's going to gather up a great multitude as well to be delivered. All right. And we go into that word. Uh, so it says all nations and kindreds. Are all nations because we've been scattered abroad, and that word kindred is goes in, uh, as the he as the Greek, foule. Strong's G fifty four forty three, foule, foule. It says a tribe in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch Jacob. You see a nation, a people. Okay, so the Lord is going to gather his elect, you know, from all nations. From all kindreds, from all tribes, okay? All right, because our people are scattered uh, amongst all the different nations, man. You know, but the Lord is going to gather them back. All right, the elect, he's going to gather the elect back. And they're going to be delivered, all right? You know, they're going to come back in their, uh, in their true tribes, man. All right? So I'm going to read that again. It says, after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number. That's that innumerable multitude, men, women, and children. It says, of all nations. Oh, it's a lot here. It says, there's no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed in white robes and palms in their hands representing victory man all right you know so i just want to do a quick uh exhortation on the uh israelite foreigners all right because hey it's, it's needed man and the lord he really showed his power with that man all right we can't judge off appearance all right we gotta judge according to the spirit so with that I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechai Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, and to the next lesson, I say Shalom, and about Ba'asham.